Good morning, who are we, baby? <laughs> who am I? <laughs> I'm the one who wrote this. You see this, guys? This, this is my, um... Okay, everyone, yeah. we are going to... Look, look, see here. This is a thousand pesos, everyone. A thousand pesos. A thousand pesos. That's about 20 US dollars. So we're trying to see how, mu how, how much we can spend with a thousand pesos in our local town of Pit Dig on a street food crawl. And Warren wrote up an itinerary. Would you like to demonstrate all the fine people at home, Warren, about... Number one. What we're going to do today? Um, we're going to the Mickey house, but single only. So if you are not, if you are taken, better, better to go home and take rest. And the next one is you chill. You chill? Yeah, What's you chill? chill? No one knows that in America. What is that? It's a um, coffee shop. It's a coffee shop? Yep. And then mm. the barbecue area. The barbecue uh, area. And oh. Pizza Hut. Pizza, pizza Hut? You don't have a Pizza Hut in Pit Dig? Yeah, just an um, imaginary Pizza Hut. <laughs> pizza Hut, make it great. What do you mean? So you mean you just eat the pizza and then you imagine you're at Pizza Hut? Yeah. Although, okay, Warren. if ever our pizza here is uh, nasty, nasty, it's okay. And then a burger disaster. <laughs> a burger disaster. <laughs> yeah, burgers. So there's a lot of burger here. Budget is 1,000 peso. That's and, right, yeah. 1,000 pesos everyone, that's right. Yeah, this, uh, so we're going to make a real history. Real this history? Is, yeah, history. You know yeah. what? No one's ever done this in Pit Dig ever yeah. before. And but we're going to do a street food crawl, everyone! A little food crawl. I just, uh, I, I uh, I brought... You know what? We, yeah. He heard that we're going out at night, or it's going to be dark when we come back home. So he's wearing his, um, get up. So then, like, he makes him recognizable at night. I might get so, lost, like, and if I get lost, you yeah. can find me. Yeah, Angelo, too, is brightly dressed for the occasion as well. He's also wearing a top. <laughs> he's also wearing a sportswear he's, top. He's usually topless. <laughs> oh yeah, if you watch certain videos, yeah. he definitely loves going topless. Yeah, yeah. All right, everyone. Well, um, Warren is not gonna wear his Christmas sweatshirt yes. to the market. So then, in exchange, he will do all the accounting with his little so, uh, pad. Uh, just account for our expenses and this to make is my, sure. Uh, manifest book. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what? That's one of our 2021 resolutions here. We're gonna do honest to goodness books accounting of all of our <laughs> expenses when we eat. So that's what we're doing. All right. So you know where we're going, everybody? Outside the door and down that street. It's the magnificent food, street food of Pit Dig, everyone. <laughs> Pit Dig Street Food Crawl 2021. We're making history. No one's done this before. Warren, what is this? Is this your twin brother at the Mickey place? Yeah, exactly. You take orders too? This is our restaurant. So what's your order, sir? <laughs> um, let me see. Can I get like a four um, double quarter pounder with cheeses? I take some fries. Can you um, uh, biggie size that? Yeah. <laughs> four so, shakes. And I also want some four Arby's curly fries as oh, well. That sounds so good. Yeah. yeah I mean, you can make up like your imaginary order as it were, and he, Warren will make it up. <laughs> um, or his Warren's family. Are you telling me my Arby fries yeah. are not available? There's no price here. I'm not sorry, available? sir. Yeah. They're not available? See, that's a very common refrain in these parts. So, <laughs> Manang has been here for over 10 years. Yeah. It's the best Mickey honey here that we know in the Pit Dig central area. So. We're in the excited central area. Mm-hmm. Right. So can yeah. we have six or uh, five orders? Thirty. Thirty times, times five. Is 
five. Warren has to go to his calculator to calculate 30 times 5. Yeah. Because 30 My little pesos brain from Mickey. is not working this day. <laughs> Man, you've been taking... How many orders do you take a day? 150. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, 50 orders a day. That's kind of small, isn't it, Warren? Uh, 150 uh, minus 1,000. <laughs> Warren's like the slowest guy at the <laughs> register at this yeah. Mickey place. Why is a bowl of Mickey 30 pesos, whereas a bottle of... Water is 20, yeah. and then vitamin water bottle is 15. So you drink the soup to uh, make sure that you get it all down. Don't drink the water. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> they used to have a, uh, the Mickey that's not special and the Mickey that's special. So uh, I guess now their menu is just the special all around. It's all special? Yeah, it's all special. Oh, all well, special Mickey. So then. So then the menu this is no longer special. If you have everything that's special, then yeah. there's nothing to distinguish anymore of what's yeah. special and not special. Well, the, spe the non-special one did not have an egg, and I think that there was no chicharron on mm -hmm. top of it. So I think this one will have the egg and the chicharron in it. Oh, okay. So I don't know what magic goes behind that curtain. <laughs> Take a look at the curtain. What's the magic? It's like the Wizard of Oz. Oh, it is the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, I get to see some sort of weakling old man, like uh, like a ghost and all that. Yeah. Mm, okay. I see a I lot of co old Coke bottles. All I <laughs> You want me? You want? You want to go back there and ask? She's not gonna show you. I don't want to see how it's made. I'll just eat it because it looks scary already from. What I'm it looks scary, huh? But it, I heard it's really good. So. They had a lot of people here earlier. Now they have vanished. <laughs> They have vanished. Where did they go, Warren? Where have they gone, Warren? Where have all those people gone and we're sitting there? They're all hiding. They're all at U-Chill. Yeah, because they... Oh, they so we'll, they, we'll meet them at U-Chill next, huh? <laughs> chill, chill, they're all guys. Oh, they already finished. Well, duh, but it seems like they're ghosts. That's the idea! That's what I was getting at! <laughs> hey, there is an E here. That's nutritious. Nutri booze. Nutritious. Hey, what? It's, it's alcoholic? Nutri booze? Let's find in the freezer. What's in the freezer? Go ahead, Warren. What's Nutri booze? Nutri booze? It's unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> it's not available as always. Hey! And I'm correct in saying that there's a typo in Nutri boost, not booze. I think she sells booze here. Yeah, that would be scan. awesome. Especially if you have a flask. Yes. You can flask. put some in there. Or it might be boos in water. Yeah, new two boos. And eggs and water juice. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. <clears throat> so it's the Mickey, and they make this fresh, I think, because we waited about 15 or 20 minutes. But if you wouldn't mind it, if this winds up being worth your while. Yeah, exactly. So Mickey, I'm just gonna use Warren's description. So cut it to that. Can you explain what Mickey is? Um, Mickey is like have one bowl okay. and then one cup of water, uh, water. Okay. and then a soap, soap, soup? Soup, yeah. What? <laughs> and, then, and then you put a chicharron. Chicharron! <laughs> yeah, so so like is that a Davoeño accent yeah. I'm detecting? <laughs> right. And then one egg, okay? Mm -hmm. And then. <laughs> I think you for forgot like one like crucial ingredient there, like one main crucial ingredient. What is it? And then one old lady. Who... <laughs> <laughs> what the? That's, no, you got. Right. There's noodles. There's, there's noodles, noodles, noodles. You noodles. dingus! Garlic. You forgot the noodles. Oh yeah, and the garlic. And, and the garlic. Calamansi. And calamansi. Okay. Plenty of relatively thick noodles. There are some chicharron pieces, I think. Yeah. Lots of room. One whole egg. So this is a special Mickey. I think what they call a special Mickey just means it has egg and a norm and a normal is without. So everything here is special. It has an egg. And there's a calamansi on the side. <clears throat> and this broth looks quite thick. It's almost as if like um palabok like gravy. Let's try this out first before we add anything in there. Thank you. 
It has more like a fresh garlic taste rather than like a fried garlic thing going for it in the broth. So it's like not as toasty. Uh, Warren, somewhat like uh, Warren's crush remembered him. That's why he's popping. So, so good. So really, good. Warren? Okay. Um, so this is really thick. It tastes a little watery to me, but it also has more of a fresh garlic thing going for it. I would prefer more of a fried toasted garlic thing myself. So I think this is some spicy vinegar. Spicy vinegar? Yes? Or this is like with uh, small radishes. No, this is this is spicy vinegar. Add a bit here, like so. There's not enough chili thing in here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we added some vinegar. Let's add some chili. These look like a bunch of chili seeds, though. Okay. I think that's good enough. Okay, stir that around like so. <clears throat> I think I got some of the fried garlic from the bottom. That's why there's like <clears throat> a burst of fried garlic there, just a short one. And then I'm getting more of like the very slight chili spice there. Very slight warming too. I think we should try our noodles next. Oh, I forgot. Come on, see. Where are my manners? Okay. Put that in there. <laughs> Why are you coughing so much, Warren? Put too much chili oil. <laughs> Too much chili oil for you? I don't think it's making me elicit any reaction so far. Okay, broth again with the calamansi. Yeah. Brings up more of the zestiness there. It's like palabo in a bowl. But I think the chili oil I didn't really distribute well. So it gives quite a bit of um it's a good finisher it is a good finisher yes given that it kind of needs some zest and it needs a bit of spice the condiments really lift it yeah some of those noodles now what kind of noodles are these rice are they rice noodles <laughs> sorry are they rice noodles yeah i think those are rice noodles no no egg noodles okay. Flour? They really hang on well to these chi the chili oil, doesn't it? Made from flour? Flour. Rice. Rice. Told you those are rice noodles. You can taste it because it's elastic. Yeah. Rice noodles and then they coat off well with the chili oil. If you add chili oil, it really coats it well. That's what I'm getting a lot of, I, I think. Oil. Yeah. It's really quite smooth. Mm -hmm. Noodles quite smooth. Soup is quite smooth. I did say it was a little watery at the outset, but the chili oil and then putting calamansi in there makes a lot of sense. All right, some chicharron in there. Not until, of course, you immerse it all in the soup. It adds a little more of a fried texture for sure. They remind me of the chicharron that we use in the out of the bag for the Pancit Palabok episode. Yeah, it's exactly the same one. These are the same yeah, ones, huh? Same one. Mm-hmm. So they do taste like they came out of a bag. But I mean, not that I'm complaining about that, because we did the same thing for our Palabok and it tasted just as damn good. 
And yeah, I put a ton of chili oil in here. I'm not really, it's not giving me the kind of reaction Warren's getting, but yeah. <laughs> Which means I can handle my spice and he can't. I mean, even though he did the Samyang challenge and I didn't. Oh my God, yeah. Are you, are you burning up? Maybe, yes. <laughs> Maybe, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. We didn't open our egg yet, which I think is cooked all the way through. Oh, I didn't get any of the yolk, but okay. Some of those scallions were set at the bottom rather than you adding it later on. So once you dig it up from the bottom, you get some more of the scallion, some nice freshness. I personally prefer the onion more at the top. But you know what? This is a pretty comfortable and it's a good size bowl of Mickey too for 30 pesos. So 30 pesos is like 60 cents. Soda. You want some soda? Yeah. Um, I think I'm fine. Or, see, you want? <laughs> um, here's the thing though, Coke on a food call kind of will hydrate, dehydrate you a little bit. And plus we're going for milk tea later, aren't we? Uh, I mean, let's save the refreshment for the, yeah, let's water. save the refreshment for, um, milk tea, okay? And get the water from the self-service, will you, Warren? <laughs> Drink more water. Okay. Yeah. So this is a good size bowl of Mickey. Good taste once you put all that chili oil in there. Some calamansi really livens it up. So then it doesn't taste as watery. Yeah. Citrus brings it alive. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty dang good. So I can say everybody, you know, you're, you're going to get a mi uh, hit or miss sort of thing because we're in a small town. And especially once we get out of Filipino specialties, it might be um, really hit or miss. So I would say this is a hit. And this is spicier than I've made. I made it. This is, I only used um, one or two dollops of it. This is pretty dang smoky. A little spicy. More spicy than I would have bargained. And, you know, it's kind of like how in the States when I was eating pho, for example. I would just put so much spice in there because, you know, because you could and it, it basically didn't really do anything. Well, over here, packs a little bit of a punch, which I like. Okay, so a hit for now. Let's go out for milk tea, okay? Yeah, all right, milk tea next. That's where we're going to refresh after this. So we're down to 850 pesos, yeah. right? So, uh, peso Mi so Mickey costs only 30 pesos per, there's five of us. Five of us, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. And let me just say, that chili oil is pretty dang good. I know, I should have put it in my bag. Because <laughs> <laughs> right now it does leave like quite a burn. That's, a, yeah. that's a very surprising. Yeah. So, I think round one for the Mickey is a hit. Now we're going for some milk tea with numbing spice on our lips. I think it's time for a... Refreshing drink and maybe some nachos. Oh, yeah, they have nachos and fries over there. Oh my goodness. You, you look excited. No, you don't <laughs> Wait, is there... Come on. Yeah, come oh, you're gonna <coughs> Come on You're gonna take bring out. some take out malunggay <laughs> You're gonna bring some malunggay with us or We'll just you know you can make <laughs> <up in Sunny. laughs> You know Angelo. Let's get rid of the spirits. Angelo. The spirits from you. <laughs> you know what? Maybe maybe if you get rid of the spirits of Candy, maybe he, she'll be relieved of her name Matusella forever. <laughs> she'll be rebaptized. Please, by the spirit. Get out of Matusella. Angelo. Angelo. Get out of Matusella. <laughs> <laughs> Angelo, wait, why don't we just have her uh, be rebaptized? What? Oh, because you, if she's rechristened, she's will uh, be uh, have Let's a new name. Let's you in this church. She, Come on. <laughs> she will no longer have the name of Matusela anymore. I know, <laughs> if I'm rich, I will change my name. Wait, you can change your name now. <laughs> we're we're gonna. Oh, you chose on that side. You chose. Yeah. Do they or have, Mr. Bass. Do they have What's your nachos? Bet? You chill. Let's go on YouTube. 
Mm -hmm. I heard you chills better. Yeah. Then also, they also have food there. Okay. Well, try the nachos. Nachos. All right, so that's the end of part one of our small town street food crawl through our humble little town of Pit Dig. We had a satisfying, heartwarming bowl of Mickey, well worth the 30 pesos. And once you put in the calamansi and the chili oil, the flavors of that noodle soup really opened up. On part two of the Pit Dig Street Food Crawl, we visit the trendiest spot in town, Yu Chill, the Taiwanese inspired milk tea place with many variations of milk tea. We also snacked on nachos, and while JP and I went into this resigned that we could find nachos as delicious as back home in the States, a few of us found this aesthetically unappealing plate of nachos quite satisfactory. And lastly, we tried the local pizza, which neither JP nor I were hopeful for, as the meat, cheese, veggies, and well, everything else about the pizza in the province is typically mediocre. Would we uncover a surprise in a good way, or the usual laughable disappointment in this hamburger pizza pie? Find out in part 2 of the Pid Dig Street Food Crawl, and if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, better yet subscribe for more videos from this street food crawl and many more food and travel videos as well. Signing off for now, and stay tuned for part 2, remember, the empire never ended. <laughs>